Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Heart of Darkness. We're back in the watery, wateriness, dodging these tentacle plant things that'll just instantly eat you. Anyway, this part has a trick. You just go up here and there's a little sliver where neither of them will get you right here. You just swim all the way to the right and then almost nothing will be able to kill you. Now, cause I, if I hadn't have died, I should go down there for breath, but because I died, I get a whole breath revive and I can just keep going. And I can pretty much do the rest of it fast enough that I don't think I need a breath. Now that totally should have killed me, but I know where all, where the sprites are in this game. Uh, wait, I have to wait for these to go at the same time. Oh, wait. I guess wait for them to go twice. There we go. Anyway, going up. And then I think this is a save room, but I'm not sure. So just to be safe, I'm going back. Uh, I'm going to be careful still. Go down, then go right so that thing doesn't push you up and that thing doesn't eat you. And then one of these rooms, where there's like a ton of them, but pretty much if you just go straight, you're completely fine. And that's the end of the majority of the swimming in this level. That sucks. But now it's just a couple of puzzles. Which aren't so bad. Oh wait, no, wait. I forgot. There is a bit of combat that sucks. Because it introduces you to this enemy. That sucks. Not, not these things, though they do suck, as you can see right there. Anyway, I think it was you kill this one, you kill this one. Oops, not what I meant. Oh yeah, okay, I remember. It was you kill this one, you kill the second one, even though you don't have to. And then you kill that one? I think that was it. I don't know. And then just, I'm just gonna... These things! They suck! If, if they are near you for more than two seconds, they will instantly kill you. They're being kind of generous right now, but re normally they're a lot harder. Now, big puzzle room, which I actually like. Oh, and some combat. Just getting you used to the idea of using your new magic on these guys. And I stood too close to him. I need to be more careful. But yeah, pretty much if anyone touches you that's not that, that weakest guy, you're pretty much dead. So anyway, I had to kill the plant just so I could, just so I could kill that guy so he wouldn't eat me. And then I have to go back up the plant. Climb, 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 climb. Anyway, so then go over here, push this rock. I don't know why this is here. It does nothing besides distract you for two seconds. Duck under that guy. Kill more of these guys. It's hard because sometimes they attack you at angles, and you have to, like, arc the controller in the right way. And then sometimes they do this, where they just don't come out of the wall. And then the moment you shoot, they're like, ah, uh, no. Oh, okay, one more. There we go. Now, I didn't have to kill them. I could have run... Okay, this is always annoying, because you have to stand at one exact spot for him to grab it. There we go. Now, like I said, I didn't have to kill them right there, but I didn't want to kill them on the way back, because then I could have died after doing this, which isn't hard. It's just long. You swim all the way over here. He pushes a rock that makes the water now flow to the right, as you can see by that sweet seed going to the left. However, there's what I like to call darkness piranha, as you will see right there. And if they touch Andy, of course, he will die. So I need to swim back out, and then we're back out of here. Good. And because I killed these guys, I now don't have to kill them after doing that, which is nice. But I do have to duck because of this guy. And and luckily, I did that correctly. Now, the, the part of this that makes it a puzzle is the seed you were using here before, you need to go over and kick it into the water. The reason you need to do this is because you need um, you need two seeds on the next screen, and so you need you need the one that was originally there. You need you don't need this one, but you need that and you need this one. So just aim aim it up, and then he'll kick it off, and then I can just kick it on the next screen, and that one. Okay, now let's see if I can make this jump. We oh no 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 no. Uh. Oh, now I have to do this again. But yeah, I'm not doing... T I'm not going to have too many failure montages. Because like I said, this is a short play. This is just me proving how awesome I am. I shouldn't have done that because I kind of need to be able to jump to that. But let's see if I... Let's see if I die or if I don't. Whee! Okay, no, I was fine. And you can kick it to the left. It just floats to the right. But anyway, I should have done a running jump here. But I thought he would do that like mid-air somersault. But I guess he didn't. So let's see, run and jump. Here we go. Whee! Okay, there we go. Now shoot that one. And then just jump to this one, which is pretty easy. It's just like jumping from cliff to cliff. And we're almost done. We just have to go up here. Oh, wait, I forgot about this room. 
it's not that bad. But you can't go straight up because if you can, bar you can barely see that there's one of these things over there. So you have to get to the left so you're far enough away in order to, in order, in order to shoot one of these powerful things at it. Then climb up here. Oh yeah, this part. Okay, so you have to, you have to stand at just the right angle for all of these shots. And this one's kind of annoying because you have to shoot it at a weird angle. And for some reason, my keyboard doesn't let me hit up and left at the same time. So I kind of have to do it while he's, like, arcing his hand. And sometimes that happens. Oh, and now I'm probably dead. Oh, no, I guess I'm not high enough. But yeah, if I go up one more step, it's just... There we go. So one more step, and then kill this one. And then I should be able to just jump over, and now just kill all these guys. Please don't kill me. Please... Oh my god! I should have aimed up, I know. Anyway, I'll be right back. Alrighty, I'm back. Sorry, I just wanted to get back here, because that was kind of a, a long, annoying thing. Anyway, climb up here. Now, this th this room, you pretty much have to cheat in order to beat it. Basically, instead of staying down here where all the enemies are, you climb up here and snipe them. Oh, wait, I forgot. There are, some, there are some guys on the ceiling right here that you have to kill. So you kill these guys on the ceiling. Just one more. See, it lets me do the, the corner shot here, but when he's climbing, it just does not let me do it. Anyway, so then, you just stand here and just shoot down. It'll eventually, it eventually will kill everyone. If you try and go down there, just too many guys swarm you at once, and it's impossible. So, just keep killing them, and eventually there'll be enough guys that you can just, you can just jump down there and take care of the rest. See, they just all run right there, because they're like, hey, he's up there, oh dear god. See, I just want to kill that last jumping guy. There we go. Alrighty. So now, just fall down and shoot them. Okay, we should be good. Now, but a few more guys on the ceiling in here, of course. I hate these guys. Because they can just fall right on you and just instantly eat you. And that, my friends, was level 3. That's kind of a spoiler because the next scene it looks like, oh, now I gotta do the whole same thing on the left side. Oh, that sucks. Uh, but then the bridge falls, but luckily that guy who was helping us earlier is there to help us. So he takes us to his village, and we get introduced to everyone, and there's a happy scene, and then they're like, we're safe here forever, and then the moment he says forever, of course they get attacked. I hit alt again. Sorry, I went back to my old control scheme, and when I do my old control scheme, when I hit alt, it, it uh, well, it... It, it, it hits alt, which opens up a menu and just makes him do stupid stuff. Anyway, this is starts introducing you to the guys that throw fire. They're really annoying because you'll be taking care of ground guys and, and they throw a fire. And if you're shooting, if you're hitting the fire button and like, and you like panic and hit the jump button, Andy will just keep firing. He won't jump. And so you're just boned. Anyway, you want to get... Ugh. So you actually just want to run past here because right here, one guy pushes you and the bridge falls. Oh dear God, I'm dead. Nope, that was a cutscene. Anyway, so you, you run, you jump over here. I missed the jump. Let me try that again. There we go. That's what I meant. I'm just, I'm just gonna. There's, there's a bunch of enemies I'm supposed to kill on this screen. Those guys, I don't care. I'm just going ahead because you don't actually need to kill them if you're fast enough. Here's another shadow you need to kill. You just kill it with the magic fire. Run over here. You jump. You swing. You shoot that guy. You turn around quickly and kill that guy. Everyone's happy. If you climb up here, it leads to nothing. So you're actually supposed to hit it. You kick it over here, and now say goodbye to the ground, because we will not be on the ground for a while. No, we are going to be up here for a long-ass time. Depends on how many times I die. Anyway, those branches, they come to life and kill you. Everything comes in this game comes to life to kill you. Anyway, kill just the one on the right, don't bother with the one on the left. Just climb up this fast enough and it won't be a, any trouble. Go over here to the left... You'll be fine, but then again, but then there's some of these guys, and I apparently missed hitting the attack button. But there's actually, there's there's four screens you could explore, but this is definitely by far the fastest route. See, like, I could go the left screen. Oops. You don't die if you, if those things hit you, you just lose your grip. But you fall so far half the time that it's almost like dying, because you just go back to where you would have been saved anyways. So anyway, okay, there, I hit the... See, I hate these guys, because they just are like, they just stand in places you can't kill them. Oh, down. Okay, just one more to kill. Oh, God, it's beneath me. Oh, there's four of them. Oh, dear God. 
But yeah, I can't I can't shoot in that direction for some reason. But luckily he can't seem to get me either. Let's see. Let's see if I can do that corner shot. No, that's even that's not it. Here, I'm gonna try shooting up. Ah, of course he moved. Oh, I thought what Why does he keep going there? Okay, there we got him. So anyway, you go up here, and I think there's more of those guys on this screen, but I'm pretty sure the screen is also a save, so I think we're okay. So even if this guy kills me, we're okay. I think there were more of them. Don't care to check. Go the left and up. More of these branches, but really, if you run fast enough, then you get here. You push this thing's shadow, and it falls. Uh, start shooting this way, because more of those fire guys come. And get if I could get the last one... There we go. Alrighty. I'll show you guys what to do next, next time. What a shock. Anyway, see you later. Bye.